be using a stupid egg. You need to talk about your PDF reports. Have you ever had an Adobe PDF document that you wished you could edit in Microsoft Word? Word has all the features you need to create and edit documents, while Acrobat is designed to allow for high-quality printing, online display of documents, archiving, and combining multiple types of documents together. Acrobat is not designed for word processing or editing large areas of text. Sometimes you need the two programs to work together. Did you know you can also turn your PDF into an image that can easily be edited in a photo program or uploaded to a website? Today, I'll show you how to take an Adobe PDF document and convert it to a Microsoft Word document. I'll also show you how to convert your edited Word document back into an Adobe PDF. Finally, I'll show you how to convert that same PDF document into a JPEG image. Note that this feature only works with the full version of Adobe Acrobat and not Acrobat Reader. To get started, open your Adobe PDF file in Acrobat by double-clicking on the file. If you happen to have more than one program capable of opening a PDF, such as Adobe Reader and Adobe Acrobat, the file may try to open with Reader. If this happens, right-click on the file icon and choose Open with Adobe Acrobat DC. To convert your PDF file to a Word document, click on the File menu, select Export to then Microsoft Word, and then Word Document. In the Save window that appears, select the folder in which to save your file. You can also rename the Word document if you choose. I like to leave the two documents with the same name, so it's easy to match up the two different formats of the same file. Click Save, and Acrobat will create your Word document. Microsoft Word will then open the document automatically for your viewing. It is important to note that the conversion from a PDF file to a Word document is not always perfect. You may have noted that I used a somewhat ugly font, Algerian, just to demonstrate this imperfection. Sometimes you'll find extra spaces, odd letters, misspelled words, and strange symbols in the converted document. These errors most often occur because of the font you used when creating your document. Using PDF-friendly fonts that are easy to read such as Arial, Helvetica, or Calibri, are going to make your job a lot easier. Otherwise, you may spend some extra time editing your Word document. Now, we'll convert your Word document back into a PDF. Once you've got your Word document edited to your satisfaction, save and close the file. Navigate to the location of your document, right-click on the file icon, and choose Convert to Adobe PDF. Choose the save location for your file and the name of your document, and then click Save. You can now open your edited PDF in Acrobat, Adobe Reader, or another PDF-capable program. That's it for PDFs today. The process to convert a PDF file to a JPEG image is nearly identical to the steps for converting to a Word document. Select File, Export to, Image, then JPEG. In the Save box, you can select a location for saving your picture and a name for your image. You can also change the export settings of your image by clicking the Settings button. From here, you can change the file settings, color management, and conversion for your picture. If you're unfamiliar with these settings or what they do, I recommend leaving them unchanged. Click Cancel to close the Save as JPEG settings window and not make any changes. Next. Click Save to save your JPEG image. Your image will appear in the saved location and you can now view it in your favorite photo editing program. My default program to open pictures is Photoshop, as you can see here. Edit as you see fit. While today's tutorial may have seemed straightforward, it's never easy unless you know where to get started. With that in mind, why not share this video with a friend or coworker? They'll appreciate you for your wisdom and revere you as a computer deity or at least their go-to person for fixing everything that plugs into a wall or is powered by batteries. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.